This video shows how to work with materials in iRef for Rhino. To open the materials window, click the materials button from the iRef toolbar. Switch over to the library tab. On the left hand side you see a tree view where you can browse for your materials. Pick the folder where you would like to browse and on the right side you see the selection of materials. The easiest way to assign a material is to simply drag and drop it on the geometry that you would like to assign it to. You can also assign a material to multiple pieces of geometry by selecting them in the viewport, right clicking the material and choosing assign to selected. You see that the material is assigned immediately. Let's switch over to the scene tab. The scene tab shows all the materials that currently live in your scene. To edit a material, simply double click the material and you see that the IRA material editor opens. There you have the possibility to rename the material. Underneath you see a preview of the material and on the right hand side you have the parameters that allow you to tweak the appearance of the material. For example, here we can change the color. We can also change the roughness and you see that the changes are being applied immediately. You can also assign a material directly from the preview rendering window by simply dragging and dropping it on your geometry. You can assign materials from the scene tab the same way as you can assign them from the library tab. So you can simply drag and drop them on your geometry. You also have other options available if you right click. So you can edit the material, rename it, delete it. You can export it or create duplicate. And you can find out which geometry is using this material, which is very practical if you'd like to replace a certain material. So in this way we see that the plastic material is used by this piece of geometry or in case we would like to see what objects are using the green material we can select it and now we can replace our selection with a new material. Sometimes the materials in your scene can pile up. You can easily clean up by right clicking in an empty area and selecting remove unused so only the materials that are actually in use remain. If you want to learn more about our software, visit us at nvidia.com/iray.